What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Jamie D Show. Woo! Live on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM every Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. PST. And live on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook at The Jamie D Show. That's T H E J A I M E D E E S H O W. What's up, everybody in the Las Vegas community? What's up, everybody listening in right now while they're in their car? I don't know where you're going, but I hope you get to wherever you're going safe. And even if you're just sitting in your car just to listen to the Jamie D Show, I love you. Oh, I support you, and I'm so grateful for you. Thank you. Hey, and shout out to everybody who is tuning in right now on the YouTube. I see people are coming in the chat as I speak. Kara, what's poppin', friend? What's up, friend? All the way from Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so on today's show, show rundown, we're going to talk about the daily news. Then our two social topics of the day is are, excuse me, I just corrected myself when I was doing an Instagram video, and I said is it anyway. The two topics we're going to have today are, is rap music hurting black women? And should you invite someone to your house for a hookup? Mm. So make sure to stick around because we have so much to talk about today. It's hump day as well. Two things to look out for today. Tonight, I will be at the Gold Coast Casino hosting my turn trivia nights. Yes, every Wednesday from 8 o'clock until 9.30 p.m., I am at the Gold Coast Casino hosting a free turn trivia night. And not only is it free to come play with me and have a good time and it's turned in a really, really amazing space to be in, the prizes that you're able to win actually pay for your food and drinks at TGI Fridays. What's up, Edward? What's up, Tracy from Dallas, Texas and San Antonio, Texas? Yes. Y'all know when Jamie D shows up somewhere, you get discounts. You get free stuff. So make sure to come out to the Gold Coast Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada, from 8 p.m. until 9.30 p.m., because I'm hosting a turn trivia night. And then this Friday, this upcoming Friday, yes, Friday, I will be at the Drip Bar Las Vegas from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. PST, doing my radio show from their location, 4579 West Flamingo Road, 4579 West Flamingo Road. If you come in person, I will be paying for your first month of your membership and giving you a free IV vitamin drip. So make sure to come out this Friday. Super excited, right? <laughs> Edward says, we got some tax people in the house. Love to hear it. Hey, yes, you guys are able to call in at 702-221-7283. 702-221-7283 when we're having a conversation on a topic. All right, let's have this day. All right, so as written by Hollywood Unlocked, you guys won't believe this, but... Now, I know this is about to hurt a lot of people's feelings. <laughs> I didn't write it. I'm just reporting on it, okay? A new study conducted out of Turkey is suggesting that vaping can reduce men's sexual desire, shrink their testicles, and also lower their sperm count. According to a recent study's findings, which were published in the Spanish medical journal Revista Internacional de Andrological, Men who use vapes could be lowering the libido, shrinking their testicles, and reducing their sperm count. So, hey, this isn't something that's just being said. They're doing studies. In the groundbreaking study, experts examined the testicle size and sperm count of rats, along with market markers of stress in their blood and genitals. It is reported that mice and rats were used because they have similar anatomical, physiological, and genetic, genetic makeups as humans. So, if the experts found something occurring in their experiments to rats, then it could also happen to humans who vape. And in this case, men who vape could possibly be harming their reproductive system. Prior to the experiment being fully underway, the researchers took note of the size of the rats' testicles and sperm counts before proceeding. Reportedly, the average rat had about 98.5 million sperm per millimeter to begin with. During the study, the rodents were divided into three groups. The first group was exposed to cigarette smoke from the Winston brand. The second group was exposed to e-cigarette vapors. And the third group was the control group, so they weren't exposed to anything. Researchers had the rats separated and sitting in spe specially designed bell jars and were given the smoke or vapor twice a day for an hour at a time. 
In their findings, the experts found that the rats who were hit with the e-cigarette vapor had their sperm count dropped to about 95.1 million millimeters from the original 98.5 million. And for the rats who were hit with the smoke from traditional cigarettes, they saw a drop to 89 million millimeters. And these rats also showed the smallest te testicles compared to the group control group in the e-cigarette group. <laughs> So this is saying that people should not be smoking. <laughs> Specifically men, if you if you don't want to lower your sperm count and have your testes shrink up. <laughs> hey, again, I know this may have struck in a nerve with some of y'all because a lot of people will get really upset when they get their vapes taken away. I'm just reporting the news. I'm not trying to take your vapes, okay? <laughs> hey, as written by Spiritual Word, the Prince George's County Police Department confirmed Tuesday that one of their officers was involved in the now viral video and said that they were looking into the circumstances of the clip. The police department identified the officer as Francisco Marlett, who was suspended in 2016 over allegations that he beat a three-year-old child unconscious, according to Fox 5 DC. Quote, his police powers are now suspended as the investigation continues. End quote. The department tweeted Tuesday evening after previously announcing an investigation had been launched into the video. In this latest clip that was posted already and already went viral to Instagram and TikTok, you were able to see an officer with a shaved head who gives a lengthy, passionate kiss to a woman wearing a tiny dress while aggressively grabbing her backside. With his arm around her shoulder, the uniformed officer then walked this woman to the back of his squad car and helped her inside. The officer then got in the car with the woman and closed the door behind them. There were men who were there at this park that this police officer and this woman were at, and they were filming the inter inter interaction and could be heard speaking back and forth in Spanish, with one seeming to call the officer an animal and another one calling, crying, ayo, as they watch. Quote, Johnny sins wilding on the job, the caption read, referring to a famously bald porn star. The video appeared to be filmed at Carson Park right next door to the Oxen High School, according to ABC7 News. What makes this even worse was that there were kids present when all of this was going down. Hey. <laughs> One thing I, I, I do not agree with is doing anything around kids. So I ain't gonna make a joke about that. I was close, this close, this close, but I don't want y'all trying to drag me because he was definitely around kids doing that shout out to mercy in la shout out to kara in arizona shout out to edward in san antonio tracy in dallas and more and shout out to everyone listening in right now in their car in vegas we're gonna take a quick break this is the jamie d show don't go anywhere because when we come back we have some more daily news stick around conditioning our main goal is to provide high quality service without breaking the bank from maintaining your hvac units to fixing them when they are down they are there for you ar heating and air conditioning offer reasonable prices reliability and professional service at a great value for more information go to fixmyac.net or call 702-646-4000 beat the heat and call ar heating and air conditioning today Welcome to Hash House A Go Go, where we've been serving farm food and crafted cocktails for over two decades. Visit us for the full Hash House experience at any of our five Las Vegas locations. Hash House A Go Go is where old school meets new and gets twisted. We bring people together over good food and fun. Come in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and come hungry because our portions are huge. Visit us online to see our entire menu at hashhouseagogo.com. Hash House A Go Go. It's a Midwest thing, and there's nothing else like it. Is your dog suffering? Suffering from a sensitive stomach? Hi, it's Kelly the Cookie Lady from Mooch's Munchies. Our dogs had super sensitive tummies and I needed to find a low fat treat that wouldn't give them gas or other issues. Most of the treats on the market were loaded with fillers, chemicals, and chicken fat. Many of them weren't even food. Well, I knew I could do better, so I developed Mooch's Munchies and I'm happy to be able to share them with you. Stop by our store or our website, moochesmunchies.com, and find out why we say that Mooch's Munchies are totally possum. I'm Nathan Atkins, and I know the Drip Bar LV is the place to be for natural health and wellness. 
We offer wellness-boosting IV vitamin therapies designed to enhance your immune system, promote healthy aging, increase your energy levels, and improve athletic performance and recovery. Book your session today by visiting our website at thedripbar.com. That's thedripbar.com. Or give us a call at 702-846-0851. That number again is 702-846-0851. Mention you're a listener of The Jamie D Show and receive 15% off. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Jamie D Show. Woo! Live on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM every Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. PST. And live on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook at The Jamie D Show. That's T-H-E-J-A-I-M-E-D-E-E-S-H-O-W. Remember, everybody, I will be at the Gold Coast Casino tonight from 8 o'clock until 9.30 p.m. PST, hosting a free turn trivia night. And I will also be at the Drip Bar Las Vegas this upcoming Friday from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. PST. Whoever comes in will receive their first member first month of their membership free and a free IV vitamin drip that come in this Friday. So come to the Drip Bar Las Vegas. Shout out to my friend Heather from Las Vegas, Nevada, live in the YouTube chat. So what's up, Heather? How are you? Well, good to see your name pop up live. All right, so if you're just not tuning in, I already went over the daily news, but we have some more. We have some more. So let's get into it, all right? Now, if you haven't heard about this, as reported by Fox 5 Vegas, unfortunately, and this really does break my heart because you know, you really want to see people out having a good time and just enjoying themselves. And you see some videos, and you're like, oh, that's so silly, but it also looks really, really fun. But you're also kind of like, don't do that. But you also don't want it to end up in any travesties. Well, that's actually what happened. A 13-year-old boy has drowned as a result of this weekend's flooding caused by the storms. The Clark County Office of Coroner slash Medical Examiner identified him as Ryan Taylor of Las Vegas. Taylor was found in the... 5,600 block of Boulder Highway at about 3.17 p.m. He reportedly had been floating on an inner tube in flood water when he was injured and taken to Sunrise Hospital, where he died the next day on September 3rd at 2.35 a.m. The cause of his death was unfortunately drowning. The manner of death was ruled accidental. The coroner's office extended their condolences to Ryan's family and friends. Another body was found tangled in debris in northwest Las Vegas. That victim has yet to be identified. Take a listen to this report. It was announced last night at least two people have died after the flooding over the weekend. The most recent victim announced by the county is 13-year-old Ryan Taylor. He had reportedly been floating in flood water on an inner tube on Saturday when he was injured near Boulder Highway and Tropicana. He was taken to Sunrise Hospital where he died early the next morning. The coroner says his cause of death was drowning. And the coroner says the other suspected flood victim was a homeless man who was reported missing on Friday night. His body was found around 5 in the morning on Saturday in a detention basin near Rainbow and the 95. The coroner's office is still working to confirm the cause of his death. And like I told you, unfortunately, while you want to be able to have a conversation on, yeah, go out there, have a good time, you also need to let people know, hey, this could be dangerous. You may not want to be in flood water. water. And, and honestly, when I was looking at some of the videos from Vegas and even when it stormed in California a few weeks back, and I was looking at people just dancing in the flood water, not saying that that like, specific act of dancing was bad, but just being in flood water to me is just so gross. I, I, all the germ, I'm so OCD. <laughs> I'm such a germaphobe. I just, when I see people in flood water, I just get so disgusted. Cause I'm just like, ew, you're going to get like some type of like disease. <laughs> I don't know. But unfortunately, like I said, when you see people just having a good time and their life is taken away tragically, it, it, it's, it's very sad. And I want to give my condolences out to those who just lost this 13 year old boy may he rest in peace and may may the family members and people who also knew this 13 year old find peace as well 
So it's written by Spiritual Word, a Massachusetts 14 year old. And I want to tell you about this one as well, because this is something that we need to talk about. Unfortunately, passed away, passed away last Friday after he participated in the so called one chip challenge. A vi this is a viral social media trend that the teen's family believes contributed to his sudden death, according to reports. Harris Wellaba, a sophomore at Dorothy Memorial High School in Worcester, consumed an exceedingly spicy Paquai, was it Paquai or Paquai? I think it's Paquai chip at school and could quickly develop a stomach ache. His mother, Lewis, told NBC10 Boston. Harris was picked up by a family and brought home and started to feel better, but was later found passed out when he had attended to leave for basketball tryouts, his mom reportedly said. The young teen was rushed to a nearby hospital and pronounced dead. Now, the reason I'm telling you about these stories, because, you know, I like to talk about things positive as well. But I want to shed light on how certain things that could be seen as so innocent and just a fun and game type of activity can end in a tragic death. And we really need to be watching out for our kids and making sure that they're safe and making sure that they're in a space where they feel like they can talk to their peers and their people about if they should do certain things, how can they say no to certain things and what's considered cool and what's not. Please take a listen to those reports audio that is on social media right now going viral because the mother did want to speak out about her son's sudden passing my son oh, my uncle. it was tough for her to talk about but the mother of 14 year old harris waloba wanted desperately to get the message out she picked him up from doherty high school friday after a call from the nurse saying he had eaten a spicy tortilla chip and fainted when i went there he was laying down and I said, I said, what was that? What was, what was the chip you ate? And this is what he showed me. It was an internet image of the Pocky brand 2023 one chip challenge. In this box, a single chip labeled Carolina Reaper and Naga Viper Pepper. Within hours, his mother says he passed out again at home, went to the emergency room, and died. I fought. I prayed to God that no parent. We'll go through what I'm going through. I don't want to see anybody hurting the way I'm hurting. I miss my son so much. I miss him so much. The family is waiting for a cause of death from the Massachusetts medical examiner's autopsy, but they are convinced it was the chip that made their son sick, a healthy basketball player with no known allergies. So as you all heard in this report, again, this healthy teenager had no known allergy. This all happened after he had the he partook partook in the one chip challenge, and now this family has to bury their son because he wanted to do something that he deemed to be cool. And it just really sucks that when you think that there's innocent things that our children are doing, that it could end up with them losing their lives. Lives. And my condolences to the family, friends, and anybody else who was involved in this child's life as well, because we do not want to see our youth passing away. We don't want to see anybody passing away. I mean, it is life when natural causes happen, but when there's things that could have possibly been avoided, it really does hurt the individuals that are involved and those who, like me, see it through social media. I mean, I don't, I don't ever want to see anybody's picture, especially of a young kid on the internet because they passed away and then hearing the hurt in his mother's voice really really broke my heart so my condolences to him his family may he rest in peace may they find peace and and i, and I just pray that this message gets out to other people that just because you see a viral trend on tiktok does not mean that you have to do it so again my condolences hey before we go into this next news article i want to give a special shout out to sean and kev they are live on the youtube right now commenting as i speak shout out to sean and keith hey i see you i see you i see you kev what's up sean i see you they are the producers directors and content creators from the boulevard those two amazing individuals who were actually here doing a documentary on me Jamie D, the radio personality, and they're here right now tuning into the Jamie D show. They're actually supporting me outside of the documentary. That means the absolute world to me. Thank you all so much. Hey, watch out for Sean and Kev, because I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Now, Kev's real name is Kevin, but short, Kev, they are people you need to look out for. These two individuals really have a lot of work 
that is going to be in the industry that is going to catch a lot of major eyes and it already has started to so make sure to lock them in now before them prices go up that's the boulevard let me actually give you all their instagram name because they are people that you truly need to watch out for in this industry because like i told you they're doing a lot of great things and they have a lot of big eyes looking at them. That's T-H-E-E-B-L-V-R-D. T-H-E-E-B-L-V-R-D. If you want to book them for your recording, producing, content creation services, then make sure to DM them at T-H-E-E-B-L-V-R-D. That's The Boulevard. Shout out to Sean and Kevin over there at that amazing organization. All right, let's get into this report. Hollywood Unlocked wrote, a woman is looking for answers after her dog was misplaced at Hartsfield, Jackson, Atlanta International Airport. According to the New York Post, the woman was offered $1,800 by Delta, and the woman's lawyer says that the offer is an insult. I know that's right. Y'all offered this lady $1,800 after y'all lost her dog? Paula Rodriguez was trying to make it to San Francisco from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, on August 18th, but then she was detained by Customs and Border Patrol at the Atlanta airport because of her missing visa credentials. Eventually, authorities decided that Rodriguez would not be allowed to enter the country and told her to stay at a detention center overnight where she couldn't bring her dog until she could board a flight back to the Dominican Republic. So following the incident, Delta promised to take good care of Rodriguez's dog as she awaited her next flight back home. Well, unfortunately, once the next day came and Rodriguez was going to board her flight, Delta told her that her dog was gone and nowhere to be found. Due to U.S. regulations, officers told Rodriguez that she couldn't stay and look for her dog, so she willingly boarded the flight without her dog, hoping that Delta would give her a call and said that they found her dog and put it on the next flight out. But the dog was never found. Quote, she's been missing for more than 72 hours in the biggest airport in the United States. And quote, Rodriguez told Atlanta News first in an August 22nd report. Without, quote, without food, without water, she must be scared. End quote. Take a listen to these audio clips. It's a nightmare for any pet owner, especially anyone who has traveled with their pet, especially because this woman actually had to return to the Dominican Republic. So she's not even here to be able to go over to the Delta counter, ask them what they're doing or come and physically search the airport. And she says that she's just really not getting the response that she wants from Delta Airlines. I rescued her from the streets and I've had her since she's been like one month. Old. Forget man's best friend, Maya is Paula Rodriguez's baby. That's why she decided to take her on the long journey from Santa Domingo in the Dominican Republic to San Francisco, California. But there was more than minor turbulence in Paula's plans when she went through customs in Atlanta. They told me like very kindly, like, uh, you know, like, we're so sorry, but you don't meet uh, like the requirements to enter to the U.S. You've been denied like the entry. And you need to you need to be sent back home to Santo Domingo. They told me like you're gonna have to sleep in a detention center, and you and your dog can't come with you. The next morning, last Saturday, Paula was ready to board her flight, but her precious cargo Maya was not there, and the airline she flew with, Delta, did not have answers. I was like, I'm sorry, like I can't get in this plane because I don't know where my dog is. I was crying. I was having panic attacks on the plane. Uh, they like I, I had to get on the plane because like the U.S. border control they told me like hey like we can't have you here by law in the in this airport for more than 24 hours. When back to the DR, Delta still didn't have an update on where Maya was. I started making calls. I started making claims. Nobody knew where she was. Paula finally heard back yesterday from a Delta representative in the Dominican. And he tells me like hey like your dog just. She broke up her kennel and she she has been missing since Saturday. After that, I haven't got any type of response of Delta. Delta has not called me once or emailed me or anything about the whereabouts of my dog. When I tell you that video pissed me off, not pissed, pissed me off. Wow, y'all. That would have pissed me off. Do y'all not know that some people's dogs are like children to them? Do you know a lot of people's dogs are family to them? That is insane that this airport lost this woman's child. I know I'm calling her dog a child, but child. 
and only offered her $1,800. Wow. Despicable, disgusting, and just absolutely unprofessional. I really want people to take a step back and remember, we're all humans. How would you feel in that situation? I know some people who will ride out for their animals. I mean, ride out. I mean, I know people who will kill other humans for their animals. Just horrible. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, let's get into this social topic. Is rap music hurting black women? Let's talk about it when we come back to the Jamie D Show. Stick around. CBD offers full and broad spectrum CBD oil, extracts, and capsules, which are designed to help you feel your best. Their products are sourced from the best organic hemp and natural ingredients on the market and are tested for quality, purity, and potency. They have a full range of items from health and wellness to beauty to pets. Call 725-205-9223. Visit online at zinworld.com or stop by their location at 9895 South Maryland Parkway and Silverado Ranch Parkway. Mention KSHP for 10% off in-store or use code KSHP online for 15% off. Hungry for the best barbecue in Las Vegas? Come out to the infamous barbecue and meat market, John Moles Meats and Roadkill Grill in Las Vegas. John Moles was featured on the Food Network's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Now take home delicious meat selections for your grill, and while you're there, grab a bite of the best barbecue in Las Vegas. With two locations now at Tom and Gowan or on North Decatur, you're sure to find the perfect meats for your next barbecue or party. Find us online at johnmolemeats.com. At AR Heating and Air Conditioning, our main goal is to provide high-quality service without breaking the bank. From maintaining your HVAC units to fixing them when they are down, they are there for you. AR Heating and Air Conditioning offer reasonable prices, reliability, and professional service at a great value. For more information, go to fixmyac.net or call 702-646-4000. Beat the heat and call AR Heating and Air Conditioning today. Welcome to Hash House A Go Go, where we've been serving farm food and crafted cocktails for over two decades. Visit us for the full Hash House experience at any of our five Las Vegas locations. Hash House A Go Go is where old school meets new and gets twisted. We bring people together over good food and fun. Come in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and come hungry because our portions are huge. Visit us online to see our entire menu at hashhouseagogo.com. Hash House A Go Go. It's a Midwest thing, and there's nothing else like it. I'm Nathan Atkins, and I know the Drip Bar LV is the place to be for natural health and wellness. We offer wellness-boosting IV vitamin therapies designed to enhance your immune system, promote healthy aging, increase your energy levels, and improve athletic performance and recovery. Book your session today by visiting our website at thedripbar.com. That's thedripbar.com. Or give us a call at 702-846-0851. That number again is 702-846-0851. Mention you're a listener of The Jamie D Show and receive 15% off. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Jamie D Show. Woo! Live on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM. As well as live on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook at The Jamie D Show. Hey, for everyone who's tuning in right now, I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this link out to your fellow friends and family. If you're just tuning into the YouTube but you're not in the chat, you're more than welcome to get in the chat with everybody else. I see we have more people viewing than we have in the chat. I know some people are kind of confused. All you have to do is log in to YouTube using your Gmail account, and you can actually comment live with everybody else who's in the chat right now, like Kara, Tracy, Mercy, Edward, and more. Sean. Yes, Kevin. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you all so much. If you're just now tuning into the Jamie D Show here in Vegas or in on YouTube, I already went over the daily news, and now we're going to have a conversation on if rap music is hurting black women. Is it hurting the image? Is it hurting them physically? Is it demeaning or destroying black women? Let's have this conversation. 
because as written by the neighborhood talk, Sexy Red has taken the world by storm these last couple of months, and a lot of women are here for it. However, some women have voiced their concerns on TikTok about Sexy Red impact on the black women community. Now, if you don't know who Sexy Red is, she is a rapper who's known for my, I don't know if I can say this word on the air. Can I see the C version of it or no? I can't see the P word, obviously. Can I say the C word? I can say the V word, right? Yeah. Okay, so she said, <laughs> Mark's laughing because he knows the song. I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you are hip, Mark. So um, the, it, it, this is the, 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 the regular term, but she used the P word, but she says her vagina's pink and her booty hole is brown. That is the song that made her popular. And that is a song called Pound Town. And Nicki Minaj got on the remix, which made her even more popular. Now she has a bunch of other songs like Hellcats, SRTs. She's talking about drugs, booty holes, sex, vaginas, using men for money and getting men, all those different stuff, right? That's what she's known for. That's what she raps about. Well, TikTok influencer Dana Dane took to her followers to express her thoughts on Sexy Red being a, quote, industry plant, end quote, that was sent to, quote, destroy, end quote, the image of black women. She went on to say that sexist music is degrading and that black women need to, quote, separate themselves from women like Sexy Red, end quote. Quote, this is the reason why it's time to separate as black women, end quote, she said in the now deleted video. Quote, because there ain't no way I'm about to be associated with that and Sukiyana, end quote. If you don't know who Sukiyana is, she's pretty much the exact same type of rapper who's been in the industry way longer than Sexy Red, but she's getting more notoriety now. Sexy Red caught wind of the video from Dana Dane and commented back in Sexy Red fashion, of course. Now, Sexy Red is from St. Louis. She is a, what people would call a ghetto hood rat. <laughs> <laughs> and her response was, quote, I'm a young, young N-word turnt and y'all old beeps are mad, end quote, she commented. This video soon went viral and started multiple conversations amongst TikTokers about elitism in the black community and how women often look down on others because they carry themselves differently. Some people argue that we must all remain classy because we often get grouped together and they don't want to be viewed in a negative way. Some say that we should all embrace black women no matter what, because sex is just unapologetically herself and represent a dynamic, a demographic of women that deserve representation too. I'm going to play this audio. And then afterwards, I want to know, do you all agree that current music is hurting slash destroying black women's images? Let's talk about it after I play this audio. Take a listen. Not convince me otherwise that sexy red is not an industry plant that was put here to help finalize the destroying of the black woman image they was already had us under attack and she was here to just finalize the process the way they trying to force her on us is just crazy like i wanted to go see drake but once i found out drake had her opening for him absolutely not <laughs> absolutely not am i going to support anything that 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 thing is behind I'm, I'm not supporting it right this is the reason why it's time to separate. It's time to separate as black women. Because ain't no way I'm about to be associated with that as Suki Stankyama. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> I don't care how you feel. I don't care how you feel. At this point, separation has to happen. It's one thing to make trashy music. That is a different level of trash. That's a different level of trash. Kaya's My Neck, My Back, it was bad. Uh, Trina. <laughs> So before the video cut off, um, she was going to go into something I was going to talk about, which is that there's already been Kaya's. There's already been Trina's. There's been Lil' Kim's. There's been Nicki Minaj's. There's Cardi B's. There's Beyonce's. There's lots of people who talk about a lot of different things in the industry and in life. However, I do understand that they're not as raunchy as some of the current rappers, especially female rappers. Now, Kara says to each their own. Edward says, a few bad people don't speak for everyone. And I completely agree. This is my thought. I personally believe that if you allow somebody to represent who you are as a person, that's your fault. You can allow people to get to know who you are and see who you are through your own actions. If somebody wants to continue to place a judgment on you based off another individual, it is not up to you to change their minds. Those are not the people you need to be around. And those are not the people you need to be looking for validation from. Point blank, period. I also want to say this, 
there has been people in the rap, pop, rock, and other musical industries that have done these exact same things for years. Listen to country. They talk about infidelity. They talk about women staying in their place. They talk about women being less than. We don't hear them talking about country music. Then we're talking about Sexy Red. Yes, her music is very vulgar, but I do agree. There are people who like the songs. I'm not going to lie. I like them. <laughs> I like some of the songs, but I'm not. My thing is I don't agree with the lyrics. Like I can like some things and not agree with the lyrics. My only end point is when I don't agree with the person. Like if you're an actual bad person, you're you're hurting children, you're raping children, you are beating up women, you're you're doing like there's a lot of artists in my community who do those things and I no longer support them. I don't listen to their music, I don't play their music. I don't even enjoy their music when I'm around other people. And I do believe that rap music can be very degrading, but I am going to continue sticking up for this thought even though it is hard to stick up for. One monkey don't stop no show and what you got going on does not represent me. You cannot allow everybody as a whole to represent. I mean, somebody represent a community as a whole. We do have a call here, and I'm going to get to that call once we get back from this break. This is the Jamie D Show. Don't go anywhere because we're going to have a caller come in, and we're going to have a conversation. And then we're going to have another social topic conversation, which is when should you invite somebody over to your home? We're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. This is the Jamie D Show. Caller, I'll get right to you, all right? Is your dog suffering from a sensitive stomach? Hi, it's Kelly the Cookie Lady from Mooch's Munchies. Our dogs had super sensitive tummies and I needed to find a low fat treat that wouldn't give them gas or other issues. Most of the treats on the market were loaded with fillers, chemicals, and chicken fat. Many of them weren't even food. Well, I knew I could do better, so I developed Mooch's Munchies and I'm happy to be able to share them with you. Stop by our store or our website, moochesmunchies.com and find out why we say that Mooch's Munchies are totally possum. Zen World Premium CBD offers full and broad spectrum CBD oil, extracts, and capsules, which are designed to help you feel your best. Their products are sourced from the best organic hemp and natural ingredients on the market and are tested for quality, purity, and potency. They have a full range of items from health and wellness to beauty to pets. Call 725-205-9223. Visit online at zenworld.com or stop by their location at 9895 South Maryland Parkway and Silverado Ranch Parkway. Mention KSHP for 10% off in-store or use code KSHP online for 15% off. I'm Nathan Atkins, and I know the Drip Bar LV is the place to be for natural health and wellness. We offer wellness-boosting IV vitamin therapies designed to enhance your immune system, promote healthy aging, increase your energy levels, and improve athletic performance and recovery. Book your session today by visiting our website at thedripbar.com. That's thedripbar.com. Or give us a call at 702-846-0851. That number again is 702-846-0851. Mention you're a listener of The Jamie D Show and receive 15% off. What's up, everybody? Hey, welcome back to The Jamie D Show. Woo! Live on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM every Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. PSP. And live on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook at The Jamie D Show. Shout out to Sean and Cav right now that is in the YouTube chat. Shout out to Kara. Shout out to Mercy. Shout out to Edward. I see you guys. Hey, before we get into this caller, I want to let you all know that, remember, I will be at the Gold Coast Casino tonight from 8 o'clock until 8.30. Oh, sorry. Wow. I'll be there tonight from 8 o'clock until 9.30 p.m. PST hosting my in-person live turn trivia night. And it's going to be free. Free. As well. As well. I will be at the Drip Bar Las Vegas this upcoming Friday, September 8th from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. PST. Whoever comes into the Drip Bar Las Vegas on the house, the Jamie D Show will get you. Will pay for your first month of your membership and toss in a free IV vitamin D. Drip, okay? Come to the Drip Bar Las Vegas because we have so many different options. There is the Power Pack, the Shield, the All-Star, the Soother, the Restoration, the Time Machine, the Pre-Op, and more. They even have I Am Quick Shots like I Am Supercharged, I Am Detox, I Am Strong. They even have I Am Single Shots like Biotin, B-Complex, Magnesium, 
triamino, vitamin D, and more. And then we also have the sauna. Y'all, salt therapy, red light therapy, color therapy, halo therapy, and more. All at the Drip Bar Las Vegas. And guess what? When you get a membership, you have access to all of those things. I love that you guys are still having that conversation in the chat about if rap is degrading or damaging or hurting black women. But we're going to actually get into this phone call because we have Edward calling in from San Antonio, Texas. Edward, how are you doing today, my guy? Hey, you sound better. You sound better today than you did yesterday, oh, Jamie. Trust me, all I need you is one better. day. <laughs> you look better. You sound better, man. Thanks, man. Hey, the the topic I wanted to bring up was similar to what yesterday we were talking about okay. about the man with his wife. You know, she's disabled. He wanted to get some play on the side, and I was thinking, like, because you live in the mecca of fantasies, and you know, not everything we do is like, not all these fantasies we have in our head, maybe it's just sometimes it's best just keep it in your head mm. and not go actually and make a move on it. Mm. You know what? I, hold on. <laughs> I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you why I'm laughing and why no. I, um, um, I just rang that bell for you, Edward, because I was not expecting yeah. First of all, I, everybody, this is part of the programming. Well, not him calling in and talking about this, but I knew and approve for him to talk about a different topic before I get into my own topic. That's part of the program. I did not expect you to say that. I'm gonna tell you why, Edward. Um, let me let me ask you this before I get, actually get into that. Edward, how old are you? Uh, 35. 35. Are you married with kids? Uh, I actually I just became a dad a couple of years ago. Actually, oh, well, for the first time. Congratulations, Edward. And how old is your how old is your kid? He's three years old. He just turned three. It's a, it's an amazing thing. Oh, congrats. That's, let me give you another bell ring. That's beautiful. He's handsome. Yes. Oh, love that handsome. for you. And then let me ask you this, Edward. What, and this is the, there's a reason I want to ask this. What's your ethnicity? Yeah. Uh, Caucasian. Caucasian. Okay. Love that. Love that. Love that. And the reason I ask these questions. You want my social security number too? You know what? I need a new credit card. Go ahead and give that no. to me via text. <laughs> but no, the reason I ask that is because one thing that I definitely see, and I, and I can only talk about people I know. And I know a lot of yeah, different sure. people from many different backgrounds. And what I see often, and I don't know if Mark wants to test this. He's more than welcome to. But I see, especially in my community, the African-American community, that we have a lot of issues mm -hmm. with the way um, men like to move in the relational space. And what I mean by that is mm -hmm. a, a lot of people don't find anything wrong with telling their significant other that somebody else is attractive in their face. A lot of people that yeah. I have, and I'm talking about me, I'm not talking about a community as a whole, because I will be a hypocrite if yeah. I did that. That's why I just said what I said mm -hmm. this last segment. But people I know, I've been around men who will go on a date with somebody and tell that person on a date with that, hey, this person is attractive. And it's like, did you even tell your partner or the person you on a date with that they were attractive first? I've seen men, you know, cheat on their their girlfriends, their wives, their boyfriends, and, and lie about it. I've, I've seen people get in relationships without knowing that they that they want to be in a polygamous relationship or an open relationship, and they and they don't just tell that to their partner and say so they lie to mm -hmm. get what they want out of their partner, and then they end up doing what they mm -hmm. want regardless. Now they're hurting that individual. And so it was yep. it was very refreshing to hear you say, there's no, and I because I agree with this. There's nothing wrong with having these fantasies. There's nothing wrong with having these thoughts. But some things should just remain thoughts. And that's one thing I want to yes. applaud you on because a lot of people think that you know just because you have this thought that and you're human that you deserve the grace to just act out on it and just do it. But a lot of times when you're not getting that communication part done, you're not getting the acceptance and, and and the welcomeness from your partner, and you're just doing it anyway. That is why I consider that person is a foul person. Do you agree, Mark? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I agree. I, I I think what you just said, Jamie, and even what Edward said, it, they both make sense. But um, <laughs> I'm a, uh, when I was younger, when I was younger, mm -hmm. I think um, inviting somebody over to the house was a little bit different than it is as I am. I'm older now and in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, I always point to the fact that if somebody is uh, not happy in a relationship or if somebody's not really you know, in a relationship for the wrong reasons. That's usually the time that people just stray and people go out and try to find something to fill whatever happiness that is. And for men, it's more or less just uh, a hookup, but for women, it's more emotional. So it's hard to put those uh, two together. But I know for women, it's more of an emotional attachment or emotional need. But for men, for us, we're just looking kind of for that, the new, you know, something new. And it could just, you know, and it doesn't even really matter if you never see or talk to him again. It's just somebody having that excitement and that new for that 15 minutes or that 20 minutes of time, however long it takes. But um, 
I, I don't know. I think women invite uh, men over for the different reason than men invite women over for. And it's just hard to say what the reason is. But I think men are more looking for a, a quick hookup and women are looking for more something long term. What's your thoughts on that, Edward? Uh, you know, I, I got to say, I, I've been on both sides of the fence. I've been I've had women use me as well. And I've used, you know, and I've used, I've, I've hooked up with women just for my own personal pleasure. Mm. And so it's a two way street. Yeah, you're not yeah. wrong. You're not wrong. And you know what, Ever, I, like I said, I really do appreciate when you're able to have. Yeah, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. I'll let you get back at No, it. no, you're all good. But I was going to say, I'm actually talking to you still. I, what I, one thing I definitely appreciate is that when people are able to have these positive conversations without feeling Ooh. hurt or without feeling like, you know, they're coming yeah. for them, because we can all have different opinions, but still get along and still. Uh, understand each other and one thing i will say is it's, it's refreshing hearing other men say things that are positive and that aren't degrading to their own community or to the people that they're involved with because oftentimes we do see that there are people out mm -hmm. there who unfortunately treat people the wrong way and and they use them and, and we're all we're all humans and we and some people do deserve grace mm -hmm. there are there mm -hmm. are such things as accidents i completely agree but there are other people mm -hmm. who do things on purpose and that's not right but thank you edward i appreciate yeah. you for calling in Yes. Oh, well, you that bell ring. Right, guys? yes thank you so thank much you. hey edward i'll see you whenever you call back again all right later thanks all right Bye. we got another caller all right we got kevin on the line kevin what's up my guy jamie what's going on what's man? good good to have your voice on the jamie d show thanks for having me thanks for having me my pleasure. so we're calling in um sean and i because we're going back and forth right now on is it acceptable to kind of invite someone over, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I lean towards a yes. Mm -hmm. And Sean, on the other hand, says absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I, I, think it, I, th I think it depends on the timeline. Like, what, when are we talking here, Jamie? Is okay. this first date oh, so, oh, 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 so we have a double duo call. You know what? Look, y'all, because I'm going to tell you, I'm so happy that y'all called it. I didn't even get, even, get in, even get to get into the story for today, but this works anyway. Let, let's, let's roll with this. So... Timeline. Let, let's see. When is it acceptable to invite somebody over? What's not? Okay. So I'm not to say y'all be y'all, and I'm going to tell y'all I'm human just like everybody else, and I've had my needs met just like everybody else, and I hold myself accountable, and I've definitely hook, hooked up with people. I still do. Um, I'm single. I've invited people over my house. However, for me personally, I bet anybody who's come over my house. I mean, anybody to the point where I legit have your address. I know what kind of car you have and more. I'm not just inviting anybody over as a blind hookup. Now, Sean, you ask what's the appropriate time. Is it after the first date or not? Sean, I'll be honest. I've done it before the first date. I've done it after the first date. I've done so it, it, it just depends on the vibes. Me. I feel as though that we should all protect ourselves and we should know who we're inviting over our house, but we shouldn't just allow anybody and everybody into our space. Cause I, cause my thing is no matter how long you vet somebody, that person could still have an ulterior motive to come over, steal, kill, rape, anything they want to do, whether you made them wait one day, two days, a week or a year. I mean, what's your thoughts? Yeah, no, I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. You can never really, uh, never really trust anyone's intentions, but Man, the fact that I would have someone, at least in my, you know, the way I think about it, like the fact that I'd have someone at my, in my room before even like seeing them in person, having a conversation with them, you know, cause one, my, the way that I'm looking at it is like over text, you might have a conversation and it might flow a certain way, but you don't know the tonality. You don't know the expressions. You don't know how they're interpreting some of the messages, you know, and then you get over in person and they're completely different than how you might've imagined over text or, you know, maybe they look different than how they looked on uh, social media. So, and see, Sean, yeah, not, that's where I'm wrong. coming from. And this is why I said it, it all depends on your vetting process because mine is a pretty strict vetting process. Not only do we have to text, mm -hmm. but you – okay, I'm, I'm going to let y'all in on a secret. Don't tell nobody, y'all, even though this is live on the radio and pretty much thousands of people are hearing this. The secret to knowing who you're truly talking to, have them call your phone. And what I mean by that is, like me, I save people's phone number. I put a picture in. I put a bio, all that. Before you do that, have them call your phone. And if they're paying for their own phone bill, or even if they aren't, but they're on a phone bill and they put their name on their caller ID, their full name will show up. So if you are afraid or uncomfortable to ask for the social media account, 
wait for them to call you because not only do you have their number, you can use their number to find them on social media, but now you have their full first and last name. And I do that often. So that's part mm -hmm. of my vetting process is one, having them call me so I can get their full first and last name to see if they're lying to me about their name or not. Because, you know, a lot of times, especially if it's just a hookup, they'll say, oh, my name is Cab instead of Cabin. You know what I'm saying? And you, I mean, yeah. if their name's not Cab on Instagram, you can't find them. That's one. Two, always, always, always FaceTime. I don't care if you have an Android. Y'all better find an app to use to <laughs> FaceTime. I would never. And I'm telling y'all this. I, I, I and listen, I cannot say the H word. Can I say that? Can I say that? I, I don't want to be too much of myself. I have spaces where I'm horny and say that. And I want my needs met. But I would never, ever, 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 ever invite someone over my, over my house without validating what they look like. Because the worst thing ever is expecting that you're about to get your rocks off and they come over and they don't look what they look like and now you're upset. <laughs> so you have to FaceTime them. And then also, like I told you, like just get some other general information on them because when you have information on somebody, I thought like they have more skin in the game and they don't feel like they can just take from you. Because if you have a name, you have a phone number, you have an address or whatever it may look like or be, then they know that if they have any bad intentions for coming over your house, that they're gonna get caught for it. What's your thoughts on that? Mm. So I think, um, I mean, I, I totally agree with everything you're saying. Um, to kind of backtrack, I would like to say, I, I, for, the, for the starting off, I think it's very different, the process um, between girls and guys. I think girls, unfortunately, have to be a lot more cautious mm -hmm. with this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, I feel like as a guy, right, like, if I go to a bar, I'm in a relationship now, so obviously I wouldn't do this now. <laughs> but as a guy, as a, as a guy, like, if I met a girl at a bar... And we're having, like, a really good conversation. Everything's vibing. Like, the chemistry's good. Mm -hmm. I personally don't think I would necessarily have a problem bringing that person back to my house. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that might just be, I, I think, again, just kind of feeling like, you know, part of me just kind of feels like if you're, if you're going to be willing to kind of, you know, become intimate with someone then you should probably be able to trust them to a certain extent. Like you shouldn't have to go through this whole process of like, you know, I need all of your information, all of this, because then it's almost like if you don't even trust them enough to like communicate without having like their Instagram and social media and like, like all this stuff, you probably just shouldn't, get intimate with them in the first place you know hey cav you're not wrong and unfortunately we are out of time so i do have to let you go let me tell you this let me tell you this cav i don't trust nobody <laughs> <laughs> i can trust you as much as i want to but i still don't trust nobody and like you said you're never gonna truly know anybody's intentions but at least i got a way to find your butt if you take something from my house hey thank you all so much for calling it hey guys that was sean and cav from the boulevard that's t-h-e-e-b-l-v-r-d love you guys so much thank you everybody listening in Here here in Vegas and everybody on the YouTube. Y'all are amazing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. It's been The Jamie D Show. Bye. What's up, everybody? You were just tuned into The Jamie D Show, live on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM. If you aren't in the Las Vegas area, you can...